I guess, today, because I was in a hell of a bad mood, you know. That's one spot, the spot, spot for fun. It is the spot for fun, that's Where's true. Frank? Where's Frank? Uh, off of Jessica somewhere. That's the other person that's with right. us. Right, right. So where, uh, so uh, what's up, uh, you want to talk about Fun Friday? On Friday, it's not Friday, it's only Monday. So you want to talk about it? We already did. When? Like a few minutes ago. What do you like, have fish whose memory resets every few minutes? We just <laughs> talked about it a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. So, um... What's that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so what was your least favorite phone conversation with me? The one about crawdads? What, uh, what? So the, we ever had, no, um, probably, uh, probably someone where I was busy or something or trying to... What was the Tony Atlas phone call? What, what was, what, what, oh, yeah, that was down there. That was one of my least favorites. What, what, um, do you remember the Tony Atlas phone call? How could I ever forget? <laughs> It's still etched in your mind, right? Yeah, you actually, you know what my least favorite was? What's that? The one on your birthday. Oh, well, what happened there? I didn't know where you were there because you were pissed off, because I knew how you felt. I understood, but can't do anything about it. All right, all right. Now, um, Tony Atlas phone call, like, that was my favorite phone call. My least favorite phone call was the one where you... Oh, it was your favorite, but not necessarily mine. Yeah. I, my least favorite phone call was the one you talked about crawdads and the one you sang. Oh, um, <laughs> I think some Tom Petty thing. What the fuck was it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was I Won't Back Town. I think it was I Won't Back Town. And if I remember the conversation correctly, I was sad because the car missed the race in Indianapolis. And I started singing I Won't Back Down. And then you busted out a guitar and you started singing I Won't Back Down, right? Yeah, I know. And I had, like, a chord to the music in front of me on the Internet. Mm-hmm. And started doing it off of that. Do you think the guy that listens to our conversations via the Patriot Act quit listening to the conver our conversations either because of the Tony Atlas phone call or the I Won't Back Down singing? I think he hung up. Or oh, the Crawdad's conversation. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely hung up during one of those. I think I think he long ago told his boss, look, you're not going to, these guys aren't, these guys aren't worth listening to. <laughs> That'd be great if he's still uh, listening. If he's still listening, what do you have to say to him? What I have to say to him? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> a fuck, fuck his miserable invasion of privacy ass. And then any justice will be, you know, some sort of legal retribution now that there's a regime change coming on. Right. That's but, what I'd say. You know, I would if say, you're listening, I would actually, want, I, would actually want him, I would actually want him to be my friend. What's that? I, want, I, I wouldn't be mad. I would be. I would. I would like him to be my friend. Oh, you cast for the friendly ghost or something? Yeah. Great. You know what game I'm sitting in right now? What's that? NASCAR racing. No, really, it's Kirk Charmody in the game. No, I don't think it's old enough. Really? Up in the seven game. No, really? Um, is the, I, I don't think the um, front row has a car in it, do, do, do they? I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. It's probably only like, you know, I don't know if any actual, there's a number one car, it's black, there's a number 17 car, it's like orange, there's a 20 Home Depot car, who's that? Lowe's, DeWalt, Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, crap. Crappy oh, shit right there. Crappy these shit. guys. Right, right. It lows again. That one speaker extensively. Number five. It looks like it has Tony the Tiger on it. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Uh, at that time, it's based on the 2006 season. It's probably Kyle Busch. Okay. Crappy. <laughs> that sums that up. So what was our favorite phone conversation in 2008? Oh, you know, I think all of them, Joe. Not really. Although I have to admit, I did really like one of those ones we had once about wrestling challenge or something. Mm -hmm. 
Can we talk for like two hours while I grow him on sooner and all? Oh, there's Jeff Gordon, he's in the game. Crappy, remember that? Yeah. Remember that? We talked about like, Oakland Challenge, like two fucking hours. We gotta do a re year review show, I think. We should. We should. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? He's sitting in a video game. And uh, where's Jay, uh, where's Jay at? In Massachusetts somewhere. Let's see. So did you like the Christmas specials? Christmas specials? That was on the website. Did I ask you about that yet? Yeah, the one you, I, you know, we talked about all this. Do you have like a memory gap? <laughs> yeah, it was the one we talked, I said, yeah, my favorite part was, <laughs> my favorite part was the part where I had you on call waiting. Yeah. I even commented that if you've taken a look of late. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy. I understand. I'm busy lamenting, so we're both busy then, ain't we? Yep. Are you, are you gonna watch the Daytona 100? When is it? I am in fact, I think it's on Valentine's Day, actually. Maybe. You know, I asked Jessica Earhart if she was gonna watch it, and she said no. Who? Jessica Earhart. Is that like an actress or something? No, it's a girl I knew from high school. Oh, so it's just random people from high school again, Joe. Yep. Yeah, well, you know what? What? Can't please everyone, can you? No. If she ain't gonna watch it, then so be it. Well, why? Well, because she's not a fan. Who do you want in the, uh, uh, what are you talking about, the Daytona? Yeah, I was talking about, and I don't think she was interested. Who do you want in it? Who would I want? I want the, I want the cars to make it. Yeah, I want the cars to make it, but who do you expect to win? Who would I, I don't know, somebody crappy, I don't give a crap. And crappy. Yeah, would you, I mean, I don't care who wins. I want, my, I want my cars to win, but do I think it's going to happen? No. No, but I mean, it's like an independent car like that ever won. Not in the last 20 years? 15 years? Before that? 15 years, yep. Did it before that? Yeah, Alan Kowicki won the championship in 1992. That was the last time that something like that happened? Correct. How often did it happen even then? Yeah, every now and again. Who well, we usually won, Kelly Alvaro? Yeah. But, you know, he was... But he was something else, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's your favorite NASCAR race car driver? Um... Besides the door... Shalmerdine. Shalmerdine, yeah. Yep. D Shalmerdine, Dave Marcus. Uh, Front Row Motorsports, obviously. Uh, M MSRP Motorsports, remember them? James Hilton, what? James Hilton. They, James Hilton's a badass, but... Do you remember MSRP Motorsports? Yeah, but I can't remember exactly what it is. The name sounds from the or the team that made every race and didn't finish one. Oh yeah, uh, mm -hmm. almost like the Lions of the li yeah, the Lions of the NFL, uh, uh, the Lions of the NASCAR. That is, the MSRP is badass. I, and all those people rip on on MSRP. You know, this is they're the worst of the worst of the worst of all time. You know, they should be honored. They, they, there's going to be a NASCAR Hall of Fame like in a few years. They should be in it. Yeah, but you know, though, I mean, uh, you know, they, I don't think they, I don't think they understand, you know, the more subversive way that you look at these things, you know? Why? I mean, look at the point. I mean, didn't um, Jimmy Johnson win, like, three championships? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had Kill Yarbrough done that, but Kill Yarbrough done it when you had to like drive your ass off to do it. Correct. Yeah. And Jimmy Johnson did it in like the modern era of like lightweight stuff. Right. 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 But and, you don't. You so you're saying MSRP Motorsports shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame? No, I think they should. But the thing is, I don't think the Hall of Fame is going to reflect. You know, it's going to reflect the more complete. Uh, uh, idea of accomplishments that you might have. I think it's going to reflect the more narrow, money-focused, you know. Fuck that. I know, fuck that, but, you know, what do you expect? Yeah, I don't know.